Hello, Teenage America. My name is the Rapple Rouser, and this is Undertale. When we last left off, we failed so many times fighting Metaton. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start up this battle, and I'm just going to cut to the one where we defeat them. So here we go. Alright. Here we go. Alright, here we go. This is our second attempt at fighting Metaton this episode. <clears throat> so we're gonna try again. All right. Seems the faster we're going, the higher the rating goes. Shoot. Excellent. All right. All right. This one, we actually do have to type out some. Cool. Oop. Ah. Well, I failed the typing. All right. Shoot. All right, post again. Avoid the hearts. Doing well. Oh, shit. I meant to actually do a heel turn there because I usually miss that one. All right, we'll do a pose. Alright, arms fell off, I'm gonna play safe, eat a glam burger. Definitely gonna do a heel turn here. Uh, do a post. Okay.
Nelfus, do you really want a humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Oh. Oh boy. Oh, well, darling, see the me or you. I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Oh! Uh, heal. Oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We reached the viewer call in my stone. One lucky viewer will have a chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. <clears throat> Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this? Our last show. <clears throat> oh. Hi, Metaton. I really like watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait. Bleh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know where I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. Uh, I. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. <laughs> it's all for the best, anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. And, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. <coughs> well, that's a happy ending to that. I... I managed to open the lock. Are you two... Oh my god. Metaton! Metaton, are you... Thank god. Just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I m mean, h hey, it's n no problem, you know. He's just a robot. If you mess it up, I c could always j j just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Uh oh. No ability to save. <coughs> I <coughs> My goodness, excuse me. I I just need a moment. It's out of batteries. Funny enough, it only took my second attempt to actually beat him. So, sorry about that. L let's k keep going. Okay. <clears throat> so, so, you're about to meet Asgore, huh? He must be, y you must be p pretty excited about all that, huh? <clears throat> you'll f f finally you'll finally get to go home well wait I mean um I I was just going to um say goodbye and I can't take this anymore I I lied to you a human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone it takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. <clears throat> if you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Well, we'll 
we'll see if we can find a way to uh, circumvent that. <clears throat> now this is one long elevator ride. <coughs> Here we go. No safe space. Oh, there we go. Not even something about feeling being full of determination, huh? All right, here we go. There it is. The city underground. <clears throat> Cast in a gray silhouette. Completely silent. And copy and pasted. <clears throat> New home. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. You have anything you need to get off your chest? Please don't hesitate to come. The kids are in the kitchen and the hallway. <clears throat> Golden flower. This is Torell's house. Except with more, not a lot of color. There's a heart shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. <clears throat> There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Let's see. Oh, we're equipping that. for help. <clears throat> it's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Asgore's house. Oh, why? <coughs> Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Oh, right, the other one's in the kitchen. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. <laughs> the underground was full of hope. <clears throat> Fridges full of unopened containers of snails. So my first stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. Stove out is very clean, so I must have used fire magic instead. human had only one request to see the flowers from their village but there was nothing we could do the next day the next day the human died 
<clears throat> Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. <coughs> with the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of a village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. <clears throat> Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. <coughs> Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. <coughs> it's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, and will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? going to be free. Wow. Last corridor. Looks like we're going to end this episode here. Heavy. Looks like the next one might be the last. I know we're getting pretty close, so thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.